Caro can defense, advance, but Vinic Carl's defense, 4.dxc5 and c6. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. White was a cut above black in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. In the Karo Khan defense, the pawns on d7 and d5 can be quickly pushed to take control of the center and engage the e4 pawn. The d4 square seizes the center and launches an assault on the e5 and c5 squares. The pawn on e4 is under attack from the center, where d5. e5 closes the center and controls the important d6 and f6 squares. c5 moves the same pawn twice in the first three moves, but it takes more space in the center and attacks the d4 pawn. dx c5 captures the c5 pawn and allows the queen to attack the d5 pawn. And c6 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e5 pawn and controls the d4 square. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. This pins a knight, which restricts its mobility. This pins a knight to the king. This reveals an attack on a pawn. It is the last book move. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. This prevents the adversary from winning a pawn. It is ideal. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. The opposing bishop gets kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. A knight could be pinned by this. It is ideal. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. It is best. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. That's good. This can indicate that a pawn is being attacked. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. This stops the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is a great move. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. This protects the attacked pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. That's good. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is best. This seizes a helpless pawn. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is quite good. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to strengthen a weak pawn's defense. It is incorrect. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The pawn is now suitably protected. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. So, the attacked pawn is protected. It is quite good. This strikes the opponent's bishop. 
it is quite good. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. That's good. By posing a threat to a knight and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. That's good. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. That's good. That knight will get material if captured. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is quite good. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. That's good. This reveals an assault that poses a threat to a bishop. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. This avoids the queen's check. It is quite good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is quite good. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This is how you take the pawn. It is ideal. This moves away from the queen of checking. It is ideal. This secures a pawn. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. This avoids the rook's check. It is quite good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. A very strong play. It is excellent. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. White was a cut above black in the middle game.